Well, artificial disc replacement is probably one of the uh, neatest technologies to come around with spine surgery. Basically, as the name says, we replace the diseased disc, which is a soft, fleshy part in between the vertebral bodies, and replace it with the mechanical disc, as you can see here. This is a segment of the spine showing a vertebrae here and a vertebrae in the bottom, and inside here is actually an artificial disc. But in the normal spine, we have the vertebrae and we have the disc in between. So with a disc replacement, we actually replace a moving mechanical joint or disc. Previously, our option was to do a fusion. But as we know from many of the FDA studies, basically there is a much less chance of having additional surgery at the level above your disc replacement level than compared to a fusion. The most common conditions we see for disc replacement in the neck, for example, are people that have a herniated disc. They come in, they have the severe arm pain, they're not getting better with conservative treatment. In the lumbar spine, it's a little bit different because it has been approved really for chronic degenerative disc disease. These are patients that have chronic low back pain, what we call the centralized low back pain. Typically what they say is their activities of daily living have become more and more difficult. They have trouble bending over to tie their shoes, little simple activities like bending forward and brushing your teeth that used to be simple, household chores, or even recreational activities have now become more and more difficult. Basically what we do, we remove the entire disc, whether in the neck or the low back. Um, we are very, very careful to retrieve any disc fragments that might be pinching the nerves in the neck. And in the lumbar spine, we want to remove all the diseased discs because it's the diseased disc in the low back that stimulates the nerve fibers causing the pain. And then intraoperatively, we take, we, uh, take various trials to try to get the perfect fit and size for the individual patient. So it is a customized implant for you in particular. Patients typically, after a cervical artificial disc, go home the day after surgery, and many patients go home the day of surgery. It depends on your area and your hospital. In the lumbar spine, the vast majority of patients are home the first day after surgery, sometimes the second day. If they're driving at a week, they can go back to a light duty job at a week or two, depending on how they feel, and their activities are gradually increased from two weeks up to 12 weeks. But if you're interested in disc replacement, go to a spine surgeon such as myself or one of my partners specializing in disc replacement uh, to discuss if you're a candidate. You may not be, and not everybody is, but we're finding that more and more patients are candidates.